I just watched nine episodes of Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. Apparently there's 10 episodes total. I can't find any definitive dates for when the 10th episode is coming out. There are also other sources saying that there are 21 episodes total, which would make sense for a Disney Channel network television show. I'm hoping there are 21 episodes because I actually really enjoyed this show. Let's rewind the clock to 2007. Hey, I'm Selena Gomez from Wizards of Waverly Place and you're watching Disney Channel. Wizards of Waverly Place premiered on October 12th in 2007. I was the target audience for this show. I love this show. I remember waiting to watch the new episodes each week. I also just really enjoy rewatching the show too, obviously nostalgic. So when I heard they were rebooting the series, yeah, I was skeptical, but after watching the first nine episodes, I can say that I really enjoy the show and I'm looking forward to more episodes. The original show starred Selena Gomez as Alex Russo, David Henry as Justin Russo, Jake T. Austin as Max Russo, as well as Maria Canals Barrera as Teresa Russo, David DeLuise as Jerry Russo, and Jennifer Stone as Harper Finkel. Which, David DeLuise and Jennifer Stone do a Wizards rewatch podcast. I've listened to a few episodes and it's actually pretty fun. The show went on for four seasons, beginning in 2007 and the final episode of the show coming out on January 6th of 2012. The series spawned two TV movies, Wizards of Waverly Place the movie, and The Wizards Return Alex vs. Alex. The movie received a 67% on Rotten Tomatoes and Alex vs. Alex received an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. I initially saw that there was a reboot happening on David Henry's Instagram. He seems super involved with the creative aspect of the show. He's an executive producer alongside Selena Gomez. I really appreciate that this show seems to be really supported by original cast. David Henry posted on his Instagram that the show will embrace OG fans of the show, but introduced a whole new generation to the wizarding world and it's been like 17 years since the original show premiered so there is definitely a new generation here who can experience the story i will say i was incredibly skeptical of the show at first until about episode three it was interesting because the first two episodes were not my favorite it wasn't until i hit at least the third episode that i really started getting into the series but i believe that's because i went into the show with very specific expectations i think i wanted like a recreation of what i remember from when i was a child but in combination with modern streaming service TV shows that I really enjoy right now, like The Bear or Ted Lasso or like Stranger Things or something. But I started really enjoying the show when I accepted the show for what it was made to be. A Disney Channel sitcom. A lot of the reviews that I saw complained about the fact that it was a sitcom or that there was a laugh track and honestly at first I was sort of bothered by that but I think that we've just been spoiled with streaming service shows and like intensely cinematic shows and yeah could I imagine Wizards of Waverly Place in an incredibly cinematic gritty streaming service show? Yeah that could actually be really awesome. But we're staying in theme of what Wizards is and originally was, and once I accepted that it was a Disney Channel children's sitcom show, I enjoyed the show so much more. Let's talk about the positives of this new show. I think the cast is fantastic. I really love that the show is being helmed by David Henry. The show really feels like everyone is proud to be a part of it and really wants the best for it. I feel like a lot of times reboots can be accused of just being cash grabs, especially sequels. The show doesn't feel like that. The kids seem like they really enjoy being there. David Henry is giving like everything in every scene. It definitely feels like a sitcom, definitely sounds like a show with a laugh track, and definitely feels like a kid's show, but it's still fun to watch. The story focuses on Justin Russo's life. He's hung up his wand at this point because he was fired from WizTech because of the unicorn incident. Yeah, the unicorn incident. That was hilarious. Awful. awful. It was so awful. That's what I was trying to say. I wonder if we'll be getting more information on that. I'm David Henry from Wizards of Waverly Place, and you're watching Disney Channel. Obviously, David Henry is back to play Justin. Selena Gomez was back for an episode. I feel like she'll probably come back again, but at this point is not a series regular. Hey, I'm Jeannie Sleanne Brown from Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. And you're watching Disney Channel. Janice Jeannie Sleanne Brown. Leanne Brown plays Billy, who is somehow gonna be the wizard that changes the world. Good, good, because there's one thing I um, kind of sort of forgot to mention, nothing big, just this teeny tiny but very real prophecy about the end of the world and Billy being the only one who could save us. Mimi Giannopoulos, who plays Justin's wife, Giada Russo, definitely thought they were saying Gianna the whole time. Gianna! Alkeo Thiel as Justin and Giada's oldest son, Roman Russo. He reminds me so much of Justin from the original show. Throughout the episodes that I watched, his personality stays consistent, which I appreciated. I feel like sometimes sitcoms can change characters' personalities just to make a joke happen or for the story. I didn't feel like that happened in the episodes. 
at least that I watched. Max Matenko plays the Russo's youngest son, Milo Russo. David DeLuise comes back as Jerry Russo. I at first thought they weren't going to have Jerry and Justin meet in the show, which would have been so lame, so great that they were able to interact. And finally, Taylor Cora as Winter, Roman's best friend, slowly becoming Billy's best friend as well. The kids are doing great, the casting was good, and I'm excited to hopefully see some more cameos. I think that it is very fun that Justin's wife Giada is learning all this magic stuff for the first time. Everything is shocking and surprising. I think I would have been fine if she had already known about magic. It just feels like such a big secret for Justin to hide, and they do explain why he feels the need to hide his secret. So you're ashamed of being a wizard? No. A failure. But I think that's what makes the original show so enjoyable is that, first of all, all of the kids have powers and the entire family knows about magic. Teresa in the original is very vocal about not always being the biggest fan of magic all of the time. I hate living with wizards! <laughs> but I really like the family unit aspect of everyone knowing, so I think I couldn't fully enjoy the show until everyone knew, which didn't happen until the second episode. Hi, I'm Jennifer Stone from Wizards of Waverly Place and you're watching Disney Channel. I've seen a lot of people complain about how Justin isn't with Juliet or that Giada seems like another version of Harper. First of all, practically, I don't see Jennifer Stone coming back to act as a series regular. I think she's an ER nurse now. The last thing she was credited on IMDb was from 2019. It does look like she's gonna be part of another project coming up though, nothing Wizards related. So she's kind of living her life doing not acting things at this point. Second, this is a reboot, and though I am sad to not see Harper Finkel back or even Juliet, which Bridget Mendler is like an extreme businesswoman now, practically I don't know if they would come back and sorta understandably because they're both kinda doing their own thing at this point. Since this is a reboot, Giada is a fun character and is good for the reboot. She doesn't know anything about magic and sorta serves as a stepping stone character for audiences who aren't familiar with wizards. I'm glad there wasn't any recasting of original characters and that we got new characters instead if we couldn't get the original characters. Just this teeny tiny but very real prophecy about the end of the world and Billy being the only one who could save us. The fate of the world is in her hands. Billy being all powerful definitely felt like a random thought by Alex at the end of the first episode. I liked the episodes once they got more episodic and felt more contained. There is an obvious through line throughout all of the episodes because at the end of the ninth episode, Justin brings up again why all these creatures are hunting Billy down. So that at first was sort of jarring and just like, okay, she's the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. I think that's what made the original so good was that none of the Russo kids really were like super extra special or anything. They were just kids trying to live their lives who happened to be wizards. This story is definitely more specific and maybe less relatable, but not to the point of being like unbelievable or anything like that. I think a lot of people's complaints were in comparison to the original Wizards of Waverly Place show. And that was a fantastic show, don't get me wrong, but I appreciate the presentation of the wizards world to a new generation. There are some things that I think would have been cool if it had been different in this new show. I think I would still be down to see a Wizards movie of some kind with Alex and like the whole cast and have it be a little bit more serious. Most of the people who are watching the original show are now older and probably haven't really watched a Disney Channel sitcom in a while, so I definitely think there would be an audience for that kind of movie or something. I'm proud of you, Billy. You earned this gold star this time. Gold star? What is this, elementary school? With all of that being said, I did really enjoy this series so far. It definitely took a couple of episodes for me to really start enjoying it, but once I did, the characters became more fun, the campiness was fun, and I started comparing it less to the original because it's a new show and new content, which I'm happy to see. Let me know what you thought of the show in the comments. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.